Hello everyone, this is what's here for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in 1 Kings chapter 8 verse 5 as well as 1 Kings chapter 6 verse 10. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word, Lord. I help it to encourage our spirits. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, let's get started. First Kings chapter 8, verse 5. And King Solomon and all the congregation of Israel who had assembled before him or with him before the ark, sacrificing so many sheep and oxen that they could not be counted or numbered. So this is um, when the Ark of the Covenant was being taken into the temple that had been built. And so um, there was just sacrificing going on and it was just a lot of um, dedication, right? Because this whole process that had taken so many years, I want to say it took like 20 years. I can't remember exactly how long it took him, but um, to build this temple, but um, it was coming to an end, right? And now the parts were coming together and, and, and the, the Lord was going to settle there, right? If you read the rest of that chapter, it talks about the glory of the Lord being so heavy in the place, like they couldn't reside there because it was so thick and heavy. And, um, it says in King Solomon and all the congregation of Israel who had assembled before him, were with him before the ark. And so they, they were going to take the ark inside. It says sacrificing so many, so many sheep and oxen that they could not be counted or numbered. All right. And so this is completed with first Kings chapter six, verse 10. He said, he built the structure against the whole house, five cubits high. And it was joined to the house with timbers of cedar. And if you read, this chapter, you're you're into some heavy details about the building of the temple. And so the thing that the Lord was showing me here was that all of the small details will come to an end, right? At some point in time, um, what we see through a mirror darkly, we're, now we're going to, we're going to eventually see be able to see God face to face, all those things that were in part done in part will now have total and entire fulfillment, right? His glory is going to rest. He is going to come down and settle. It, it's going to be a, an end to all that work, right? There is coming an end and it's very soon near. So that was what the Lord was sharing with me was that you know, all these tiny details that he had to deal with. This is five cubits high. That is this, this long. And this is resting against this. And that is made out of this type of wood. And all, all those small details that we're dealing with on a daily basis, these light afflictions, these afflictions that we're dealing with, this suffering, um, it, eventually it's going to come to an end and there's going to be an end to the work and, and the rest will truly begin we are in his rest right now as we work but the true rest is going to begin and and it won't be long now the lord is with us he's near us he is watching us and he's just as excited as we are right to move right on in and have his rest and so let's go ahead and pray father god thank you for the simplicity of this word thank you that it's many details, but there will come an end to the building, Lord. There will come an end to the labors. There will come an end to the harvest. And we will be able to just bask in your glory, Lord. We'll be able to just lift our hands in your presence and worship you, our mighty Father. We love you. We're going to worship you right now. We give you all the glory right now. You are mighty. You are Elohim of Elohim. You are awesome and holy. We love you, Father God. We give you all the glory. We sing hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Forgive us for all of our sins. Lord God, cleanse us. Let us be able to bask in your presence, Father God. Help us to abide in you. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
All right, you guys, it's coming soon. We just have to hold fast. Let that word be stirred up in us and let us hold fast to the word that he has given us. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you, his children, his peace. Take care.